Ladies, did you know one in three of us will be attacked in some fashion in our lifetime? And our next guests say the best way to survive is actually to escape, not to stay and fight. Tracy and Charlie Vega from Simple Self-Defense for Women are here to explain. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So those stats, I mean, those are staggering, but it's true. And you say you can teach women, children, the elderly, the moves they need to escape instead of stay and fight. Absolutely. Right. And what we do is we teach three moves on how to prevent an attack and then four moves on how to escape from an attack. And why only four? Well, because we want you to remember them. And if we teach you 32 moves, you're not going to go home and remember them and be able to use them effectively. But we teach you four and use them in combinations of way to, to escape. And we have you practice them over and over again. And we, we want children to be able to be able to yeah. escape from a large person. So if you have four, only four moves, we teach them so it's, you remember them for the rest of your life. So one of those sure. four are most likely going to get you, at you out of that situation. Sure, That's and the idea. you learn these at these seminars you guys do, but if you want to join or even host one, how does this work? How does your company work? Well, we work specifically with companies and organizations, and they do it for their employees as a value add for being a valued employee. Sure. Or they might do it to attract potential customers to their location, or do it for clients, or they also open it up to the public, or they might donate it to a charity like That's Domestic Abuse idea. Council type things. So we work strictly with them and they, they provide the, the, the funds for us to do that. And these are moves that work because I'm 5'3", I'm pregnant, I don't have a lot of strength, and you showed me a move earlier outside. You want to explain a little bit about what that was? Sure, what that basically is, the most common way someone's going to grab you is usually in a parking lot somewhere, they're going to try to grab you, pull you into a vehicle. And what we did was we showed instead of fighting, uh, strength against strength, we use a technique where instead of fighting five fingers like someone grabs you with five yeah. fingers, you get away, f you fight only against one, and that's following the direction of the thumb. Sure. So whichever way the thumb was, as you see in, a, in the scene we did, you went your arm up because the thumb was facing up. If the thumb was down, you just follow the direction of the thumb down, and it gets you out, gives you time to get away. And I'll tell you, it was a lot more simple than I thought it would be, and you had a really good grip on me, but learning that, I think it would just be invaluable. And is that, that's one of the four that you teach? Absolutely, that's one of the four. That's the one that we want to pay it forward. We want every woman and child to know how to do that. So now that we taught you, we'd like you to teach somebody else, because that's the one that's most important, to, so everybody can get away. And everybody can use it. Children, adults, elderly, any, any age. I love that, and I love the message that it gives, and you said it's really fun for people, too, because you get together, and it's not always such a serious situation. Like, it can be a date that's gone bad, and you just learn a simple move to get the guy away from you, right. and that's all you need. So I really appreciate it. You guys, thanks so much for coming in. And if you want to know more about hosting or joining a session of Simple Self-Defense for Women, visit their website at simpleselfdefenseforwomen.com or go to galtime.com, and we will link you up.